Hi, I'm Anthony from Spiritland Productions, um, and this is the new Spiritland One. We are both, myself, Gareth Isles, my business partner, ex-BBC uh, sound engineers doing a lot of live music, and uh, we had a, a chance meeting with a guy called Paul Noble, who was one of the, well, he's the artistic director of Spiritland, uh, and one of their founding kind of directors there. We had a meeting with him, and he showed us what they were building, um, which was their first restaurant in King's Cross, listening venue, with a small studio, which is where we got involved. And we started running that studio. And from there, we started talking to the other directors and their investors. And then we ended up with a whole new company, Spiritland Productions, and, and now this truck. We came to IBC last year and met with Megahertz. And we had some rough, really rough drawings about what we'd like to do. And then a year later, this is now finished. They handed over to us in uh, probably the end of July. So we've had it a few months now. Um, it went out on the road after two days of testing and did a week of live TV for BBC Wales. Uh, and then it's done uh, Friday Night's Music Nights, uh, Joss Stone and Burt Bacharach. Um, we've just mixed the new Beverly Night BK25 live album from the Royal Festival Hall, which is what we're demoing at IBC in Atmos. Uh, and we've also mixed uh, a Kylie Minogue show for Magic FM in here as well. So, yeah, we're getting a few bits and pieces come through. I mean, we, we spent a long time looking at all the consoles and, and listening to them all, importantly. Um, and for us, the SSL was a real standout sonically. Um, and then that changed the whole design of the truck. You know, we were, it was a lot of MADI. Um, that, by nature of going with this desk, we're now fully Dante in here. Um, we have the SSL preamps on stage, and then from there, it's, a, it's all IP. Or even all the recorders in here. And it allows us to do huge channel count shows. Um, the desk is really easy to navigate. The user interface is quick for people to pick up. It was, it was interesting to watch on the BBC Wales gig. We had two engineers who'd never seen a system T before. Um, and within an hour, they were not really asking any more questions. They were very comfortable with their way around the desk. And I think that's a testament to how easy it is to use. It's interesting with the EQs because this is the first digital console that we've played with where when you manipulate the EQ you're hearing what you would expect to hear when you've been used to working on SSLs of old or, or any of the analog consoles of old. The EQ is familiar. Um, and the same with the dynamics. Um, it's, not a, it's not a transparent dynamic like we've had to get used to using on all the other consoles that we've tried. Um, you, get, you get those sonic effects and it, it is what you want it to be. Um, and we used to use a lot of external plugins, a lot of external outboard. We're, we're doing more and more on the board as we learn you know, what we can do with it. We've got the dual T80 engines, the redundant engines, and then the, the HC bridge with 1024 IO on this console. Um, obviously, with this high capacity Dante, we've, it's, it's a lot of network data, and our, our multicast network data within uh, Dante is high just as a nature of the recorders and sending stuff to multiple places. So it's managing that bandwidth and, and making sure that the switch configs are able to handle it. So that was, that was the bit really that took the longest in getting this truck going. You know, everything w was addressed, screwed in the racks. There's very little cabling, which is just Cat 6A front to back. Um, and then it's just making sure those Cisco configs are right. <laughs> I did a session on an SSL 9000J. It was probably the first time I used an SSL. And I'd exclusively, almost exclusively, only ever used digital consoles. Um, and so for me, trying to work out how to use the 9000 was, was pretty, <laughs> pretty difficult. And taking all that, that digital knowledge and just trying to, trying to throw it back on an analog board. And so I feel much more at home with the System T than I ever did with the, the 9000s that made of, made of ale.